Hey everyone, it's Eva Mega Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time we arrived in Kanto on the SS Aqua. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and take on the Vermilion City Gym. All right, the way this is going to work out is obviously my Pokemon are majorly underleveled. So I'm going to go in there and battle the trainers off screen. Then I'm going to go out and like just grind the absolute living crap out of them for like three or four hours, and then I'll come back. And we'll take on this, the gym leader, Lieutenant Surge. Alright, I'll see you guys on the other side of all this. Welcome back! Alright, now that we've got to Surge, after doing a little trap thing down there, we take him on! All of my Pokemon are now level 48 and above. Level 48, yeah, level 48 and above except for Slowbro. He's still level, level, 50, uh, level, level 45. Anyway, we have Lieutenant Surge here. He is the gym trainer of, the well, gym leader of a legend type Pokemon in the Kanto region. We have Typhlosion level 52 and he's Raichu level 51. Oh, great. Here we go. Double team. <laughs> this is going to be a fun battle. Ooh, but not if Flamethrower hits. It's not going to be fun for him anyway. You suck. All right. Oh, you got to be kidding me. No, Shockwave never misses. It only has a power of 60, but it never misses. I don't think it has a chance of paralyzing you either, but it can be annoying. Oh, you can't be serious. Oh, spam. I hate it when they do this. But guess what? I know a move. Oh, again, what? Oh. But guess what? I know a move that can make that hit. It's called... Swift. Swift never misses, just like your pathetic shockwave. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. Oh. <laughs> You're a jerk, Surge. Anyway, I'm going to throw more stars at you. Haha, <laughs> yeah, take that. Ooh, critical hit. That's what you get for being a jerk and spamming the absolute living crap out of Double Team. Talking about Double Team... There are some tournaments on Wi-Fi where evasive, evasive, evasiveness raising moves are banned. I know. <laughs> so you're not allowed to battle on Wi-Fi, idiot. This is not looking good at all. Uh, Alright, he should be dead now. <laughs> oh! I can't believe that just happened. Are you serious? Uh. Alright, Umbreon, you are a legend because you're about to go to level 50, so quick attack this idiot. Yeah. Ooh, crit Why couldn't we get the critical hit last time? Anyway, Umbreon goes to level 50. I know, I'm such a gamer. Alright, uh, he's about to learn Last Resort. No! You cannot learn Last Resort. Next up is an Electabuzz. Electabuzz is a pure electric type again. Electabuzz has an evolution called Electivire in Diamond and Pearl. Um, and Platinum. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use Revive on Typhlosion because we're going to need him later on. Um, Electabuzz aren't bad. It knows Light Screen! <laughs> But Lucky Bite is a physical move in this game. Oh, it also knows Low Kick. Isn't that a... That's going to be a problem. Why does everything know good things against my Umbreon for? Why? Is it an omen? I don't know. Seriously, the amount of crap that, was the, that has been going on in this LP... We would be screwed if this was Generation 3. Oh, no! No! Yes! Yeah! Synchronize! No! Citrus Berry! Ah, uh, what is this? Will you stop low kicking me? My balls are sore. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll never say that again. Alright, um, we'll go ahead and use Full Restore on Umbreon now, because we're gonna need Umbreon and Typhlosion. They're gonna be the two main Pokemon we'll be using throughout this battle, by the way, so I'm just gonna like keep using Full Restores on them. I'm not going to be needing much, just so I'm getting absolutely, p p uh, absolute pathetic luck 
You know I'm surprised that he didn't teach his elective bars as a brick break. That's actually quite surprising to me. Instead of low kick, because low kick low kick's damage is based off your what your opponent's weight. Oh yes, light scream more off. Um Whereas Brick Break has a constant power of 75. Anyway, Electabuzz is dead now, or fainted. Electabuzz is actually his strongest Pokemon. So yeah, I know, level 53, what the hell. Next up is Electrode. Uh, Electrode is extremely fast. It was, here's a bit of trivia for you. Electrode was the fastest Pokemon in Generation 1. Um, so yeah, it's all of its stats are actually quite terrible. Um, except for its speed, which can get to like 400 and something. No. Double team. This is going to be a problem. Anyway, signal beam. I'm hoping this confuses it. Come on! No! Oh, charge beam. Charge beam only has a power of 50, but it, can, it has a chance of raising your special attack. So, yeah. Oh! You're driving me insane, Surge. Would you just die? Oh, great. He's trying his luck again with another charge beam. Why do the gym battles I'm always in in my LPs go on forever? I swear, when I'm playing my real Soul Silver, they didn't last this long. No! What are you doing, Letro? Faint already. But I'm telling you, they didn't last this long. It's only because I'm recording. I have to make it look like I suck. Oh, you got another stat boost. Screw you! Oh, no! Oh, I'm such a winger. Uh, thank you! Alright, next up is another pathetic electrode. I oh, know, here we go again. Oh. So, Typhlosion, let's see how you finish this up for us. Electrode, level 47. I'm pretty sure each electrode has a different move set, not light screen! No! At least Fire Blast hit. Now, I'm hoping this does more than half damage so I can hope for another Fire Blast to hit and kill it. I was going to say kill it, but obviously not going to happen. Would you stop using Double Team? I'll join the army! Okay, that's not going to happen, but still. At least Lava Plume hit. Okay, that should leave me enough to probably... No, that's not going to leave me enough because he used a full restore! Oh, you got to be kidding me. Just stop raising your evasiveness. You're driving me insane. Oh! This is a joke. I find it rather ironic that he raises his evasiveness and he also knows moves that actually have 100% accuracy. That just never miss. Like Aerial Ace and all those. It doesn't have Aerial Ace, but you know what I mean. Yes! I scream more off! Take this! No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, we suck this battle. This should not. We should have finished this, man. We should have been on our way to Saffron City, but no! No! Actually, no, we're not gonna do Saffron City. Actually, wait. Alright, here's a question for you Should I do Saffron City first, or should I do. Should I battle Erica first? He's dead! Yes! Last up is a Magneton, I think. Yes, I was right. Magneton, electric steel type, dead. Even with light screen up. Anyway, uh, question. I don't know. I've, even though I'm probably, probably go ahead and record after this. I just want your opinion. Should I do Saffron City first or should I verse Erica? I don't know. Um, yeah, I know. And yeah, we win. Suck it, Surge. We beat Lieutenant Surge! Which virtually ends this episode. So, next time in Pokemon Soul Silver, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out of this terrible place called Vermilion City. Then we're gonna head to our next destination, which I don't even know what the hell is yet, but we will get there and we're going to have fun along the way because I'm Jono. Tonight on 60 Minutes. Alright, whatever, that was just lame. Um, now today, tonight, with Matt White. Um, yeah, okay. So, next time we pick up our server, we will continue our journey. See you guys then.